Well, I'm coming to you with the latest update from Geno Salim Saleh's camp. But things are not good in Geno Saleh's camp. Stand by for the details. <music> Horrible Bashir Mbazira to be appointed minister in President Museveni's government. Isn't that shocking news? <laughs> I'm coming up with the details. Well, the person who wants to assassinate the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk, has finally been revealed. I have the details. Yes, you don't really want to miss on these stories. I told you that you got the buzz, you got everything. Otherwise, a very good morning. Welcome from the weekend. Let me hope it was fantastic for you. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula, and uh, this is the Buzz UG. Subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> now, starting with what is happening in Geno Salim Saleh's camp. Speculations of the demise of President Museveni's young brother, Geno Salim Saleh, have created a storm on the internet. For quite a while now, Geno Salim Saleh has never made any public appearance, a thing that has attracted attention from social media users. Geno Salim Saleh was even expected to show up at the burial of the late security minister, Geno Eli Tumwine, but it was never the case. Now, over the weekend, a tabloid reported similar speculations indicating that the five-star Geno is locked in his residence. But other sources have revealed that Geno Salim Saleh was secretly airlifted out of the country for specialized treatment. We are yet to confirm this information, but this is something making grounds on different social media platforms. Yes, so that's it. Geno Salim Saleh has been taken for further medication outside the country, according to other sources on different social media platforms. It's not the first time Geno Salim Saleh is being speculated to be dead. You remember earlier this year, similar reports circulated on social media prompting him to come out and refute the claims. However, this time around, he has not made any response in that regard. Now, last week, Horrible Kaziwe Bashir Mbazira, Kawembe South Member of Parliament, backed Kampala Central Member of Parliament, Horrible Muhammad Seriko, as he passed his computer misuse bill that seeks to criminalize and penalize social media users who criticize and attack government. Well, according to Kaziwe Bashir, the youth have vulgarized free speech and therefore it is right for government to take up extra measures and extinguish the already burning flame on social media. Now, Kaziwe Bashir cites himself as a regular victim of cyberbullying from social media users who have made life very difficult for him as he legislates for his constituency. Now, upon hearing this development, legal advocate Isaac Semakade said he's not puzzled to see Horrible Bashir Mbazira backing the Sereko bill. After all, he's about to be appointed minister in President Museveni's government. Well, in his own words, he said, it is not new to hear that Kaziwe Bashir Mbazira, Member of Parliament, Kawembe South, signs NRM's majority report on the Computer Misuse Bill 2022. Very soon he's becoming a minister. Well, there you go. That is Isaac Semakade revealing that Kaziwe Bashir Mbazira is going to be appointed minister in President Museveni's government. Well, I'll be keeping you posted on this story. <music> Now, recently, the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk, revealed that there's a mission going on to have her assassinated. Now, celebrated novelist Kakwenza Rukirabashaija has revealed a mastermind criminal in this assassination plot. Now, according to Kakwenza, the person behind this deadly mission is the First Lady, Right Honorable Janet Kataha Museveni, who suspects that the Speaker, Right Honorable Anita Monk, could be having an affair with her husband, President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni Tebuhaburwa. 
Now, in a long social media narrative, Kakwenza goes on to explain that the speaker's aide secretly left for the U.S. and held talks with the deputy speaker Thomas Tayewa, a key ally to the first lady from where the plan was orchestrated. Well, in case you need more details about this story, you can check Kakwenza's social media platforms. The revelation is still right there standing. Well, finally, a group called Transformer Kadas Association Uganda from the NRM party has requested President Museveni to retire his son, General Mohozi Kainilugaba, from the army so that he can be able to participate in active politics with the view of becoming the next president of Uganda. However, the director of information in the land forces, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Magezi, said UPDF has a very clear retirement process. Well, according to Colonel Magezi, for any serving officer to retire, first of all, they must apply and then later retired upon clocking the retirement age, but also one can retire on medical grounds. So none of that has actually happened to General Mohozi Kainerugaba. Well, that's the latest update I got for you right here on The Buzz UG. In case you have anything on your mind about any of these stories that I have for you this morning, just put it down in the comment section. And uh, most importantly, subscribe to The Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Remember, I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.